The health ministry has revealed aspects of its findings into the air quality crisis that forced the relocation of some services at Cornwall Regional Hospital in St. James. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says mold is partly to be blamed. TVJ Shamela Mitchell has his primetime news update. Earlier this year, health officials reported that noxious fumes were affecting patients and staff at Cornwall Regional Hospital. Some hospital workers later went on strike, calling in sick, upset because they said health authorities had ignored their concerns. Following the strike action, ministry officials intervened and patients and staff were relocated elsewhere while an investigation was carried out. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says the investigation into what caused the air quality crisis has now been completed. We're picking up a lot of other things. Dr. Tufton says a Pan American Health Organization PAHO team carried out an investigation and here is some of what is found out. Fiberglass particles which, which were linked to the, to the cleaning of the lining, mold in, in some places, um, some chemicals I think from the chemical spill in the x-ray area. However, the Ministry of Health says it is still reviewing the document presented by the PAHO team. A number of lab tests were also done at the facility. Not just PAHO. PAHO did, did work some weeks ago, but we have environmental solutions and others that do testing, our own internal lab. So we constantly monitor the environment as we do the cleaning. Meanwhile, Dr. Tufton says the relocation of some services from Cornwall Regional Hospital continues. As soon as that process has been completed, work will begin at the Taipei facility. We have relocated all the outpatient services. We have relocated a number of the supporting services like lab services on the same compound but in, in, in container, um, customized containers. We, are, we have another week or so to, ident to get back the tender documents from the contractors who were selected to bid and then we'll make a decision within a short period of time after that. It's going to be a long haul. Shamela Mitchell, TVJ News.